and hello everybody welcome back to another video today we're back inside of minecraft and we are going to be starting a new hardcore series so part of the reason behind this which i should start getting moving while i'm talking i don't want to get caught out and about during nighttime, but um especially first night but yeah so I, I, it, it's been a second since i posted <clears throat> and i've been doing a lot of streaming on twitch and stuff like that and to be honest there's a lot of stuff I have to decide about my channel going forward and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know. I just opened up my survival world and didn't really have a lot of motivation to record on it. I don't know. I've done over a hundred episodes on it. It's been, it's been fun. I don't know. Like, I don't feel like I have that much more left to do in it, to be honest. And part of that's probably just because I took quite a long break from doing it but yeah I don't know I want to kind of get back to the daily upload schedule so I figured a good start would be to bring in something like this bring in a new series something that you know I can kind of start to enjoy again so how we're gonna how, how I think I'm gonna do this series is um Instead of doing, like, plot out episodes, I'm going to label the videos more off of, like, what days the world's on. Like, obviously, it's day zero right now. So, like, episode one will probably be day zero to one. Episode two will probably be days two to three, you know, all that. And then we'll base the series more based off of the number of days that the world's gone. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Just want to make sure I got plenty of saplings and stuff, because I'm going to... Probably not settled in this area. Uh, let's see here. Let me just get a pickaxe and an axe to start out. Don't really need a sword immediately. An axe will do fine if I get caught at nighttime. Obviously, it's hardcore, so it's in hard difficulty. So, you know, most of the time. Okay. Check out this game. In pretty much any game I play, I play on. Um, normal difficulty like I, d I don't like playing games on easy it always feels too handholdy for me maybe need getting some iron off the start but like I, I normally don't play in hard either because I'm not looking you know to have a I'm, lo I'm looking to have a good time while playing so like playing any game in hard it's always interesting for me different experience compared to what I normally do but I'm definitely Excited. It's been a sec since I played any hardcore. Also, having kind of this island feel with like this fan in nearby, this is quite nice. I, I actually might be willing to settle in this area. I guess part of it depends. Is the rest of this island surrounded by ocean or is this more of a continent? Looks like it's probably more of a continent. That's fine. I'm not not exactly feeling it. If it was the islands, I was kind of feeling going for like an island kind of... I think the proper term would be archipelago kind of feel. But since the rest is mainland, I think we can move on. We got a ruined portal to start. I'm going to kill the cows first, though. The cows might disappear. The ruined portal won't. Boom. Pretty happy with this start so far. We already got four iron. Okay, it would be nice to find some sheep here pretty quickly. Uh, we got some pigs. Because if I find three sheep, I can make a bed. Or if I um, find like two sheep and make some shears, or even a single sheep and make some shears. I have the iron now. Okay. Got some basic tools. We got. I'm gonna use this as a weapon. Toss on the Thorns 3 helmet. Okay, cool. Good start, good start. Actually quite happy with how this is going so far. Could look around for gold there, but I don't have an iron pick yet. Not too worried about it. We got a Savannah... Um, um, what do they call it? Savannah Hills? Let's see, let's see. I'm curious here. Savannah Plateau. 
Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, well, I figure this series, knowing, knowing my track record with hardcore worlds and just worlds in general, I'm going to die pretty early, but I figure this will hold us out till here in a couple months when Caves and Cliffs updates come out, because it shouldn't be too long now. It's supposed to be out by summer. Okay, let's get a furnace made and start cooking up some food. Boom. I should swap the position of those two. Feels more right to have the pickaxe on two. So yeah, I'm still not sure what I'm what I'm planning for our base and stuff like that, but I figure I can kind of figure it out as I go. It's not too important to have it all figured out right away. I want to get some. I want to get at least one um, acacia sapling. That way, if I end up leaving the area, I'll still be able to have some acacia wood. I don't really use acacia wood much, but you know, just in case. Okay, and then all those leaves. Generate. Let's just boom, boom, and then toss in the food. Okay, cool. Stuff's going pretty well so far. Okay, now acacia sapling. Cool, cool, cool. Got what I wanted. And now we got food. Okay, great start. We even have a tiny bit of armor, which is nice. I don't want to die to caves like I did in the series a while back. It's always interesting talking about my first hardcore series because when I, like, I, I remember it very fondly because it, it was one, of, it was my first like, you know, long-reaching series on my channel, but um. I didn't have any viewership at the time. So, as a result, you know, it's not like there's people around the channel now who actually remember that. It's pretty much just me. Oh, I died so sad. Yeah, so j just for a bit of context, um, in my first hardcore world when I was... I, I, when I went on my first like serious caving expedition, and at the time, it, it was like two years ago, um, almost now, I guess a year and a half. Like I, I played the series super cautiously, like especially once I started to get settled and had a couple buildings down and stuff, and you know I was really happy with the world and didn't want to lose it, so I played really cautiously. So I, I didn't go caving until really at all until like episode thirty four. But I ended up messing up pretty bad and ended up dying. Okay, that's uh, actually I'm gonna pull that out and let it cook the rest of that. I should also be able to get a piece of iron smelted for a shield. It's gonna hit nighttime soon. I at least want to have two days per episode. So sadly, since this first night, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. This is gonna be a bit of a longer first episode, which works out. But yeah, I feel like this table is going to be kind of two days per episode. I'm not going to do too much skipping and stuff. Just because, yeah, if I die and don't get it on camera, that would stink. But I'm going to come back once this stuff's all cooked. Alright, cool. Now I got a bit of iron. And, oh, whoops, I used my planks. That's alright. Alright. Now we can make a shield, which very important in... Hardcore worlds. Okay, it's in night. Really would have been nice if I had some bumped into some sheep by now, but it's not too big of a deal. I have saplings from the area, so I'm not worried about dipping. I'm not super worried about birch saplings, but I might want to pick them up just in case, you know. All right, nice thing about having a sharpness three gold axe, it should one hit pretty much everything. Again. Okay, nighttime's gonna be super dangerous. I might 
just hole up for the night. Just for the sake of not dying here early. Uh, let's see here. How can I go about this? Oh, we got a cave. Uh, torch, torch, torch. I'm going to actually ditch this shield for a second. and Yeah, I, I can still use the shield in my other hand if I need, if worse comes to worse. But now I have some lighting that I can use. So if I find a cave, I can drop into it for the night, which might be nice. We got a pig. Baby donkey. Hmm. Zombies along the coast. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find anything else for tonight. I'm not going to risk it. Uh, actually, there's some sheep over there. And I'm going to wait till morning. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'm just going to do this. That way I'm safe, but I can still check for when night ends. And I'll catch you guys once it's daytime again. Okay, guys, the sun is now coming up. I think it's about time I head out. Now, I do want to be a bit careful still, but we got three sheep over there. So if I take them all out... Now I can start sleeping in bed, which will make my life much easier. Boom, boom, and boom, through bowl. Yep, cool, we're good. Now, I want to keep moving, especially since now that it's day, new monsters won't spawn in, so if I move a bit away, I shouldn't have to worry about bumping into creepers and stuff. From the previous night, I just got to get far enough away that they're <laughs> no longer bothering me. Also, my golden axe is going to go soon. I'm probably going to want to pick up a sword before too much longer. For the moment, it's fine. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. You, you should be dead, chicken. So bad I didn't get a fire aspect axe. It would have been nice to just be able to have it cooked immediately. Anyway. Points aside, I really want to bump into some new biomes and stuff. Uh, let's check out the cave first, though. Since it's hardcore mode, spawn point legit doesn't matter in the absolute slightest, which is actually really convenient. That's one nice thing about playing hardcore is you don't have to worry about things like making sure your spawn set and stuff like that. Instead, you just have to worry about the fact that if you die, it's all over. But it is nice to be able to just pick up and move around without much stress. I'm finding a lot of iron, but not much coal. Ah, there's some coal. I'm going to be able to have a full set of iron armor before too long. Yeah, but I, I want to try and get a lot of the caving done here early on. Because if I wait too long, then we'll start running into problems with the difficulty increase. Because it gets more difficult the longer time goes on. Since the day multiplies the difficulty, I believe. Pretty sure that's how that works. Might be wrong. But yeah, as a result, sticking around for too long without doing stuff like mining makes it a lot more dangerous and a lot more likely I'll die while actually mining. Good news is I can start switching to iron tools though, which is very convenient. I'll also be able to get enough torches to start doing stuff with it. It's going to be funny that in, you know, one episode, I'm going to be as far as I ever got in my other hardcore series. That was completely my fault, though. I got, I, I was way more cautious than I should have been. I mean, granted, I ended up dying the moment I started letting up on said caution, but, you know, technicalities. Okay, I'm going to ditch these golden axes. And the stone axe, for that matter. Don't have infinite inventory space. Okay, I'm not going to worry about armor yet. I'm going to pick up the furnace and move. My main concern now is just getting as much iron as possible and then dipping. For diamonds, I can strip mine. 
So I'm not quite as stressed about those, but it's it's a lot harder to get iron strip mining than it is caving. So I'd much rather be able to get my iron caving. Whereas with diamonds, it's hard to find them caving because so few caves are under Y15. It's actually really interesting to me that because of the way that Minecraft generation works, that for some wars, psycho easy to find caving much easier than it is to strip mine. And then there's other ores, specifically diamonds and I, I don't know about emeralds. Just because the caves move in and out of different biomes. But assuming you had a big mountains biome, emeralds would probably be easier to find caving. Otherwise, strip mining is probably your best bet. But yeah. Just the difference in strategy you have to take for different ores. Whereas, like, in games like Terraria, it's much easier to just strip mine for most things. Or, sorry, it's much easier to just cave for most things. Strip mining doesn't really have a place until you have psycho-fast mining tools. Okay, once I get this ore, I think we're going to dip from the cave. I don't want to get too deep in the cave. Especially when I already have enough iron for full iron armor and stuff. I just want to gather this stuff up and then we'll head out. I want to find a place to settle down within by next episode. So I want to get a bit more exploring done this episode. Just so that we stand a bit of a better chance of getting in. I mostly want to get out of the Savannah biome. I hate settling in Savannah biomes. I just hate the grass color so much. Uh, I guess I'll kill the Enderman. He was at a good spot. I am not interested in being involved in that. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Okay, now I have pretty much everything I need to get started. And we're a few hundred blocks away from spawn. Actually, if you count diagonally, we're about a thousand blocks away from spawn already. Not bad pace. Not good pace, but not bad. Yeah, the main thing I'm looking forward to is finally getting a chance to kill the Ender Dragon in hardcore mode. Because I've never actually pulled that off before. But it's something I've always kind of wanted to do. That is a big ravine. From distance, I thought it was a cave. But no, that's, that's a ravine. And that's big. That might not have been a bad place to have started mining if I hadn't already gone through the cave. Although that cave was nice. It did a lot of stuff. Okay. Speaking of caves, I'm so hyped for the cave update. I get through splitting it into two updates, so it won't be, you know, as big as it could be, but still looking forward to it. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know for sure, for the 1.18 update, I might start a new survival world instead of trying to continue it off of my previous one. Just because it feels like I've kind of... In that world, I've kind of backed myself into a position where there's not much left for me to do. And I, I feel like part of it might be because when I went about making like automated farms and stuff like that, I didn't put as much thought into them in the first place and didn't build them as nicely as I could have. So now I'm in a position where like for example, to keep up with my rockets, I have to AFK at the mob grinder for long periods of time. To keep up with, um, whoa, lag. Oh, big lag. Okay, we're good. But yeah, to just, oh, that's a desert temple. To keep up with the materials I needed for stuff, I had to go through a lot of work because I didn't put a lot of thought into my automated grinders. And I feel like if I had done a better job with some of them, it would have freed me up to feel a bit better about it. So yeah, I don't know for sure. 
That might just be me speculating, but... I mean, it is just me speculating. But... I definitely think that I could have went about it better. Okay, Diamond Horse Armor. Gapple. Uh, I guess I don't need the two arrows. Although I do have a bow. And a skeleton apparently dropped. Uh, Silk Touch Book. Yes, that's nice. Okay, um... I don't need the one string. And I have a saddle and diamond horse armor. I don't really need more. Okay, let's just use dirt to pill her out of here. That was a nice find. Definitely excited about it. The other thing that happened, too, was I also ran out of ideas for builds. Uh, I think I came from that way, so I think I want it this way. Uh, no, this way. There we go. Like, I had built a lot of things in the world, and I had some ideas for future builds, but I just didn't have anything that really clicked, that I really wanted to do. So, as a result, the series ended up kind of dying out. Which I'm sad for. It was a good series. I pushed through a lot of thick and thin. Like, some of those, some episodes were insanely boring, and I admit it. But it, it was fun to make, all in all. I had a great time with the series. I do kind of regret that I didn't get more done in the village. Generation loading has been weird for me lately. Okay. Oh, what time of day is it? Is it hitting night? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, let's settle down and make a bed. Maybe I'll settle in the desert. The only other time I tried to settle in the desert was when I tried to do a streaming hardcore world and didn't end up working out. But I feel like kind of a desert oasis build would... S Actually, it's something I have tried a few times now that I think about it. But I feel like it would be something that would be pretty cool. So, like, I could totally take, like, this river here and just settle down along the edge of it and go for a desert oasis feel. I don't know. I'll think about it. Let me Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And let me just grab my crafting table. Wood... Bam. Okay. And once I sleep and it hits the next day, that's going to be all for me. I would like to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.